another chamber here to generate kind of like a, a, a pocket of helium, and we're going to have it um, held back um, by this disc here. So we have a disc here, and the reason, um, so we don't want to just constantly shoot helium. The way we're going to kind of allow the helium to release is what, is what we call a rupture disc, and this rupture disc is specifically designed to fail when the pressure behind it reaches around 1300 psi. Okay. So this this will remain intact, but as soon as we build up the pressure of air behind it, okay. at some point it will fail, and all the air is going to come rushing through. Does that make sense? Oh, I forgot my... So I'm going to add one rupture disc. I'm going to add it here into my disc. Okay. I'm going to screw it in here. So again, pressure is going to build up back here. Okay. And we're going to have a lot of pressure, so I have to really make sure that this is screwed up really tight. Okay. <laughs> So next, we're going to add uh, this mesh, and what this is going to do is, so that's our rupture disc, we call this our flying disc, because this is going to, the air pressure is going to um, push this and it's going to kind of fly through the air, but then we don't want the whole disc to go into our auger plate, we want to catch it from the okay. So this is what we're going to use to catch our um, catch our disc. The mesh is not very wide. It's a mesh, yes. It's not very wide. You can see it's mesh there. So, what I like, this is where the example I like to use is um, when you have a seat belt. Because we don't want the disc to continue to the auger plate, but we want the gold particles to continue flying all the way to the cells. So, when you have your seat belt on, and you, you're, you're going at a good speed, and you hit the brakes really hard, what typically happens? You, you, you end up, you end up, you know, kind of parts of your body that are not restrained fly forward, but things that are restrained stay back. That's the same principle here. So as soon as the disc hits the smash, the disc will stop, but the gold particles will continue to fly because they're smaller than the holes in the mesh, and then the gold particles will continue until they hit the cell. Well, and that is the instance. And then that is the instance okay. there. Lots of parts. <laughs> There is a box of goggles back there. If everyone could grab a uh, pair of goggles. Underneath, uh, down here. Grab our Okay. Cells. So I see two chambers. You have the upper. That's where you put the gold, is that right? The yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so just to review, we have the compartment up here is going to mm -hmm. add helium, and we're going to add helium, and then when the, there's uh, 1,300 psi of pressure behind it, the disc will rupture, the air will rush out, it will push the disc with the DNA into the mesh, and then the mesh will stop the disc, but the gold will keep flying. Are we going to be able to see all that? We're going to do it right now. Okay. All right, so let's see. So, the first thing we're going to do is start a vacuum. Again, we're going to use the vacuum so that uh, we don't lose velocity of the gold particles. Because we really want to, I mean, these things have a cell wall. We need to go through the cell wall, through the membrane, into the chloroplast. They're going to go until we hit about uh, 28 millimeters of mercury. What is the shutter? I mean, trigger. What is the trigger? Yeah. There is the trigger. Oh, okay. Um, it's all buttons. So right now we're only working on the vacuum. We're okay. only generating a vacuum inside. We're almost to where my target is. Almost. A little more. Okay. So now we're going to shoot. So now you want to look at this gauge up oh, here. Okay. This gauge up here is going to be the pressure of helium. And so you'll remember, at around 1,300 PSI, the rupture disc will fail, and then everything will go through the system. 
So we're still generating pressure, helium, behind the rupture bit. Almost there. It's kind of dark. Ah. 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 All right. So we'll release. Yes. So that's it? <laughs> so let's see. I'll show you what we have now that we're done. Okay. I was expecting a bang from a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were the clammy, you're probably going, what just happened here? Okay. So we have. Uh, sometimes you can see the gold particles. I don't really see any. Oh, today. you're able to see? There, right here's the, here's the fun part. Okay. Whoa. Alright, oh. so here you go. So you can grab onto that. And so that is... Can, it, can you show it in the light? The pressure. Oh, okay, there are holes, yeah. So the disc went through, but the gold continued. Uh-huh. And then basically, then I would take these cells and put them under the light, and those that have the gene of interest um, are those that will grow. So that's it? That's how, so how many times do you have to do it to produce a successful to produce, uh, yeah, no, insertion? If everything goes well, you can get transformed, and sometimes you get transformed in the wrong places, but that's more of a function of things that Clanny Demonis does with its genome more than the method itself. I actually think I have a